What is up everybody, this is Zeta Wachor bringing you some more One Piece Pirate Warrior as we continue on with Crocodile. What a mean old crocodile. He shanked me. He fucking shanked me. He fucking shanked me. Anyway, so we're continuing on it. Ala bastard, I mean basta. I think I think you get that there. Anyway, Continuing on, so the Power Rangers official Facebook page released a meme generator. Here's my thing about the meme generator. Uh, you attract the Sentai fans that are going to put butt hurt shit on top of your page. As much as I'm sick of the purists coming on there and saying, Super Sentai is better. Super Sentai came first. Sentai will always be better than Power Rangers. Shut up. Shut up. Seriously. But on a serious note, I already made two memes that'll make the butt hurt really hurt. <laughs> one for Troy Bliss and the other one for, of course, the Gokai Change thing that everybody keeps bitching about. Gokai Change, not Legendary Range Mode, butt hurt mode. It works. It works out to me. I don't know what really what it's really about, but it's something about me wanting to piss people off is some sort of an addiction problem. Yeah. But enough about that. Anyway, rest is said to Tokyo to episode 3. Yeah, um, TV Niha released their subs. Uh, yeah, uh, that awkward thing that I mentioned in the last video. Yeah, wasn't so awkward when you figured out what the hell that was for. It was not for a weapon, it was for breaking out of a fucking coffin. In my opinion, couldn't you figure out another way to break out the coffin? I mean, not gonna lie, they were chained up, so I'm guessing that was the only way out. Um... It was the most awkward thing and awkward moment that I've ever seen. And then that and in that moment Toku Troll probably had a ball with that one and saying, Hmm, oh, we already know what we're doing. I don't remember this in one piece. I don't remember me flying around in the ruins. I remember me running in the ruins. Dun dun dun. Luffy's angry. Everybody run. Luffy angry. I whip my hands all around. I whip my hands all around. Alright, so. If you guys seen the article, let me just bust out the spoiler alert for the last video, okay? So, so far from that interview, it said that about a million people voted for the Showa era to defeat the Heisei era inside the movie. But remember, the voting will end at least, let's see, um, I believe it was four days, it's four days before the movie's actual release. So it'll give them enough time to edit the footage and throw in the final ending, whatever was voted on to win. It was a way, I believe it was a way to avoid a all-out Kamen Rider fanboy war, in my opinion. It was a way to avoid that. You, you get what I mean, right? A Kamen Rider, all Kamen Rider fanboy war, right? You're going to be like, oh, I'm for the Hesse era. I'm for the Showa era. No, Showa's better than Hesse. Blah, blah, you get it. You get what I mean? It's like the purest of of uh, Sentai is always saying, Power Rangers is always going to suck. Power Rangers obviously does not suck if that was my childhood right there. Okay? That's my childhood right there. Fucking amazing. And it's still... And honestly, um, here's how my story goes, okay? I was like that. I was like that. I watched Power Rangers, yeah, as a kid. And then a, a shitload of times I got freaking teased for watching it. So, for that, I stopped. But then every now and then, it just pulls me back in watching it. <clears throat> it was like uh, Power Rangers in Space. It was um, um, Lost Galaxy a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I bought the fucking Saber from Lost Galaxy. I believe it was called the Quasar Saber. I forgot. But, ah, it's my childhood right there. I remember buying the Megazords. I remember buying Lightspeed Rescue Megazord, the Power Rangers in Space Megazord, the Turbo Megazord. Oh, that was a shit back then. I even bought the, uh, what the fuck was that guy's name? His name was Signal Man in, uh, Car Ranger. I, I just forgot what his name was in, uh, Turbo. But I remember buying his Megazord and it was just fun because I could drive it and then I can, I can reenact the, um, the transformations seen from the show and it was just a ball to have and I even had the um, the uh, Delta Megazord also 
I, I believe it was the Delta Megazord from Power Rangers of Space. Then I had the other one for the um, for the uh, Silver Space Ranger and all. You know, that's that sort of childhood. It just lives on. You know, and then you you being told to stop watching it because oh, it's for little kids. And you know, I, I really don't give a shit because obviously I'm 21 years old. I got back into that shit from Toku. I started watching Power Rangers, Super Sentai, fucking Kamen Rider, all that. And honestly, when I told my coworkers that, they obviously didn't give a shit. They just said, ah, he's just him. And they're not going to care because, hey, it's me. It's what makes me happy. I don't really give a shit. If you want to make fun of me, I really don't care. Because that's who I am. I know a lot of people are going to say, you're very immature. I really don't give a shit. Okay, I just want to have fun with what's left in my life. You know what I mean? I want to have fun with it. Okay? I just want to have fun. That's all. I just want to make myself happy. At least. I want to make others happy, make myself happy. You get what I mean? But, yeah. Nothing about that. I'm interested in purchasing some Super Mega Force stuff, too. Oh, and, a little, and the Gokaiger stuff, too. I don't know why. I'm just a little interested in that. But first things first, I need to get past the obstacle that is waiting for Tokyuja items to show up as CS Toys because I am afraid to buy from Amazon again. <laughs> After the Pine Lock Seed screw up, that was my fault because I bought it off of Amazon and I had no idea it was the Gachapon version. Because you know them, they didn't really, they didn't really descri describe it a lot. They just said, oh, Deluxe, and I was like, oh, okay. But they never fucking said it was the Candy uh, capsule version, which is gosh about. They never said it, so it's whatever. I even had a free candy in it, so I didn't give a shit. I just, I just died after the free candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> you get what I mean. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm about that. So the next episode of Tokyo Jer, which will debut, I believe it is Saturday, right? Saturday. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Tokyo Nigo, aka Tokyo Blue. I f I don't even I still don't know how to pronounce his name. Okay. Okay, it starts with a T. I just don't know how to pronounce it. He loses his rainbow pass, which means he cannot be able to enter the rainbow line, the trains, which means he can't be able to become a Tokyo Jer unless he has the pass. So yeah. Hey, same shit with Deno. You can't board the Den Liner without the pass. You can't travel in time without the pass. Same shit. But it's going to be a little interesting how he gets back. I don't know how, but we'll find out. Might I just say, Kagura, you have the most dangerous um, imagination out of the entire team. Because apparently your your role-playing is really dangerous. <laughs> even um, even uh, Wright was shedding himself like, whoa, that's the second pinch. What? Yeah, that's the second pinch. She's going to fuck us up. She's probably going to kill herself with her own imagination. Gomu Gomu no Pistol Gomu Gomu no Pistol I'm gonna be Yeah that was a dumb idea of me Just to waste it on him I don't know I was thinking Luffy Beat down Okay that's all I was thinking was Beat down beat down beat him down You know what I mean Anyway Kamen Rider guy it's gonna get more interesting. Zangetsu and Gaim working together. Huh. But in the next episode, which will debut, well, of course, same day as the new episode of Tokyo Jer, we're gonna see something more interesting. Does is um Kota gonna become Yuga Drasho or not? Is there more involved with this whole conspiracy of Yuga Drasho? Is there gonna be a split of power from the developmental department and the president himself? You know what I mean? Like Two people have different opinions. One wants to save the world, the other does the other one just wants to have power. You get what I mean? Power and corruption in the world. You get what I'm you get what the show's probably trying to say too. But there's also like evasive species and shit like that, you know. The world has to face evasive species, such as the Hellion Forest, which is the plant that is screwing up everything. But it's nice to teach everybody about nature. In a way, it's nice to teach kids about evasive species that could destroy, you know, their favorite uh, plants and uh, maybe animals, possibly even 
fruits you know foods as such that could destroy a lot of life it could destroy human life too if it wanted to why am I talking about nature stuff I shouldn't be talking about nature and scientific and bio biology stuff you know what I mean I shouldn't be talking about it. look I found a room full of shield bastards let's beat the fuck out of them yeah yeah so I so in one piece I got past the um uh thriller bark thriller bark but I still think it's called thriller park cuz this is thriller yeah you get what I'm trying to say yeah, the Michael Jackson part, I, I don't know where that came from. It, it just came out of me, okay? Can't help it. Cause this is Taylor. You get the point. I'm that unprofessional. I don't give a shit what I have to say. That's all I gotta say. Now, now shit's gonna get real because the first ever Pacifica, Pacifica, or whatever the fuck it's called, it's a cyborg that apparently is very powerful, is more stronger than Frankie, shows up. That's the first one that ever showed up. Now, the thing is, in the first in the first episode of the game, which you will see in the I'm Back video, uh, you will see the Pacific uh, trying to kill me after one year. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's a little dangerous because one of them ate the pawpaw fruit, which is... I don't know how to freaking say it. Look, there's paws on the fucking, in the fucking ruins. You kind of get it. There's paws in the fucking ruins. It's like cat paws, okay? Cat paws. That's all I gotta say. That's all it is. It's cat paws. But it has some dangerous effects. It can take away fatigue. It can take away your pain. And it could turn into a bubble and somebody else could absorb it and take all your bullshit that you suffered as their bullshit. So it's a little dangerous alongside stupid. But it's just a little dangerous. Yeah, I wet my head and I, I might have a concussion. But that's okay. I barely got brains. I'm kidding. Luffy does have brains. Oh, ah, ah, ah. Run, Luffy. Run. This is Indiana Jones all over again. Da, 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 Oh snap, here we go. Rocket uh, boing. At least they didn't hit my head on the wall. Like some people. Boing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? This is where my stupidity kicked in. Whee! I didn't, I didn't see that one over there, okay? Plus, this one's gonna be a bitch. Not really. But anyway, uh, Toy also released a video of the, of the Telly Beacon, which is a television special for Kamen Rider Guy. That's gonna be released God knows when. But let me just say this now. It looks a little interesting because you're going to be seeing arms change that has never been put on other riders before. You're going to see Zangetsu and Mango. You're going to see, um, you're going to see Ryugen wearing, I believe it was, I think I forget, honestly. Yeah, you're going to see Zangetsu and Mango. You're going to see, um, Baron and Kiwi, and I believe you're going to see, I don't know, what the fuck? Game was where I forgot, but yeah, I'll post the link in the description below for the video, and you guys can go check it out. I mean, it's pretty cool. It, it of course, no subtitles, so good try figuring it out. It's just some stupid shit that they always put up, okay? Just the most randomest stuff they always do. So I don't mind, but you get a free um orange e fresh lock seed, which my battery and it died after after only two days. But my decayed Ryugen freaking, I mean Ryu, Ryuki, sorry, Ryuki, um, Kamen Rider Lock Seeds are still working. 
which is kind of creepy. It's still working, so it must mean they got lucky, and it's not Decay's fault. Damn it, Decay, it's always your fault. Yeah, I still remember that meme, so what do you mean? Not my fault, man. <laughs> I thought it said not my fault, bro, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless and Allah. And I'll catch you guys later for more One Piece and my stupidity. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. As I probably hit my head on this. Yeah, okay, so bye.